Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do because it is going to be my first Sephora haul of 2020. So welcome to a new year. I'm really excited to share this. There was some releases that came out specifically the day after Christmas that I was very interested in. I spoke about in my Will I Buy It series that I post every week where I chat over new makeup releases that you were probably going to see a haul from me uh, probably around the start of the new year. So that is what today's video is going to be. So I'm going to share all of the products that I decided to pick up recently. Before we get started, I would love if you have not already, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy seeing makeup hauls. And let's go ahead and jump into the Sephora box. Alrighty, so I actually placed two orders with Sephora because one product, I was waiting for the majority of them to come out on the 26th, but one product released beforehand and I wanted to pick it up right away. That is from Natasha. Denona. This is the mini glam eyeshadow palette. This is a $25 palette and immediately when I saw it, I knew I wanted to have it. Uh, I knew it would be a fun one to do a video with also. So I do already have a video with this palette up on my channel. I have a look with it, swatches of the palette, and then I also am comparing it to the mini nude palette from Natasha Denona and also the Going Coconuts palette, which is a newer release from ColourPop. So if you want to see that one, I will link that video down below. But again, I just knew that I had to pick up this palette and I did have a $25 rouge reward which I was pretty excited about so I ended up grabbing this one a little bit early but uh, in addition to that palette I did also purchase um, this was another one well I mean I think pretty much everything I've talked about in my will I buy it series if you guys haven't seen that series again it's a weekly one I just talk about all of the new makeup releases from the week I actually just finished filming uh, the one for this week and then this package came in so I'm sitting down to film a haul so I did mention in that video that I do have an Instagram tutorial with this eye look up over on my Instagram so I will also link that in my description box and I do always link all of my makeup as well so uh, another product that i picked up this one is from from mark jacobs this is the sequins glam glitter liquid eyeshadow so i am super curious about these this one was uh 26 dollars, i believe it was for the mark jacobs and i really do like the glam the sequin glam glitters i have the shade caparazzi which i am a really big fan of i do like my stila glitters i also like the pixie glitters so i'm curious to see how this one is going to stack up this is really cold right now because again the package just arrived to me but i'll be doing close-ups and swatches of everything but the wand looks pretty standard on it Ooh. That looks really pretty. So um, the shade I ended up getting was a Gleam Girl. And this one is more of like the pinky glitter. And I'll do some close-ups so you can see a better swatch of that. But I'm really curious to try this one because actually someone mentioned in my Will I Bite video that they picked this up and they said it was really terrible and it was like streaky, not very pigmented, a lot of creasing. So I was like, oh no. So I hope that I like this one. I hope that it's a good product. Again, it's Marc Jacobs. It's more expensive, like fingers crossed that I enjoy it. A skincare item that I purchased, this one is from Ula Henriksen. This is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It says cleanses and removes makeup with orange fruit water and PHA. So it is a facial cleanser. This is a new product from Ula Henriksen. It says, finally, a juice cleanser you won't complain about to all your friends. That's funny. With a gentle yet thorough cleansing action, this plush gel creme cleanser sweeps away dirt oil and makeup without strip without stripping the skin in just one step. It has orange fruit water and PHA, helps loosen and lift dead skin cells to reveal bright, energized skin. It says, enjoy your daily detox and your purified, refreshed Ola Glow. Okay, so I really do like a lot of products from Ula Hendrickson. This is a part of the Truth line. I do like a lot of the products in that line too. And it's just a skincare brand that I feel like works well with my skin. They are a high-end skincare brand, but they're not, like their prices aren't super luxury and they're not like the top, top high-end tier for some of their prices and then this one was $28 which I really didn't think was too bad for a cleanser I was researching some of the different ingredients I, I looked at like the first five ingredients and I liked what I was seeing uh, a lot of the first ingredients were like a very the word that I kept coming across when I was researching them was very gentle there was a handful of the ingredients that said like is safe to use on babies like that's how gentle of a product it is and that's something that I'm really looking for right now I typically have had very dry skin usually but my skin is changing a little bit right now it's a little bit more oily but I also think that it's 
dehydrated and I've been getting a lot of advice to uh, look for more gentle products in my routine even cut back on the amount of products that I use to try to help fix what is happening with my skin so when I was seeing that uh, I, I was pretty curious to test out that product and I feel like the first especially like three four ingredients that all really mentioned how gentle this was going to be that's what made me decide to go ahead and go for it go ahead and grab two of the new snap shadow palettes from fenty beauty so fenty beauty just came out with six different palettes each of them have six shades inside and the idea behind them is that you're supposed to be able to snap these together and kind of mix and match and create your own kind of like perfect palette with the six shades that are inside so it's not the individual shades that you can mix and match but it is the six pan palettes so it was kind of a tough decision but i ended up going with five and six so one is the peach five is the peach and then a six is the smoky smoky was actually the first one that i picked out which um i don't know if you guys are newer to my channel i do a lot of neutral looks uh, i do a lot of like just quick and easy like fast makeup looks i'm I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of always on the go. And so sometimes something that's a little bit more neutral is just quicker for me to do rather, uh, rather than colorful. And it's just kind of my preference. But today, obviously, I have a different look. This was my quick and easy New Year's Eve tutorial that went up on Instagram on New Year's Eve. So again, that will be linked. But for some reason, this smoky palette was really calling to me. So this is the size of the palettes. I'm sure there's videos up by the time this one goes up too. But these are the size of the palettes. So fairly small. Uh, let's see. This is the ColourPop Smoke Show, one of the nine pan palettes. So you can see the difference there. And then this is the Natasha Denona uh, Mini Glam Palette. So obviously the Natasha Denona is longer, but I mean, it's a it's a small eyeshadow palette, which I was expecting it to be. These are $25 each, or if you do purchase two, you get a $5 discount. So I purchased the two and I got them at $45. That just applied automatically to my Sephora cart once I placed two in my cart. But this is the inside of the Smoky palette. Uh, I really liked that there was a purple shade, which calls to me a lot, but these two shimmers uh, I thought were really beautiful. Also something to kind of like give it an oomph, give it a little bit of a glam look, and then a lighter one that I felt like was me. And then the matte shades too. I thought that they were pretty. Each one does come with this little mirror also. Again, I got the number five or the peach palette. So again little mini palette here so this one is definitely more of a me palette but that's why I wanted to have it like I wanted to do two that were kind of different because again you can snap them together and you know just kind of like play off the pairings I liked the matte shades in here because I feel like the transitions really work for me and I could you know potentially pair them with this one too but this would also be just a really nice kind of like on the go travel palette for me um so yeah this one was kind of like the me one this was was kind of like my ultimate alter ego oh, yeah let's say that let's, me palette alter ego palette together you know just something kind of fun so to snap them together you just lay them on the back and then you have one palette on one side and one palette on the other but it is now one like singular palette so that is how the snapping of the palettes worked so that's kind of fun it's just you know it's just kind of a different concept i know not everyone thinks this is like super revolutionary or anything and I, for me at this point in the makeup industry and what we see it's just fun even if there is just little differences to something because there's so many brands there's so many new products there are so many new celebrity lines and all of that that, you know, just when something it can be a little bit different to make something stand out a little bit more. I think that's a smart idea. I'm afraid like this started to go down. I was like, no, no, no. But the palettes, I mean, they're secure. Like they are snapped in there. They're, they are snapped together. Definitely let me know what you want to see from this haul that you would want to see in a get ready with me or tutorials, Instagram tutorials and all of that. But I feel like quite a few people are pretty curious about these ones from Fenty Beauty. So I am going to uh, insert close-up swatches too but I want to just do some swatches here just to get an idea for myself on what I feel for the shadows uh, so far when I swatched the peach one I feel like they feel pretty soft 
which is good. So those again are just some real quick swatches on my hand here. Okay, yeah, the mattes felt nice and soft and creamy, which is good. The shimmer is a little bit more of, uh, like it has a bit of a duochrome to it. Ooh, okay, so, mm, oh, these actually feel different. The one in the Smoky palette actually feels a little bit different. The mattes felt more dry. And I don't know if that's because it's just a darker, like I did like the dark gray, but you might be able to see that on that initial swatch, it really didn't swatch the best. It was kind of skippy and it just felt dry in the palette. Um, we also have this kind of deeper glittery shimmer, which that one looks pretty. Um, we do have the lighter one here, which maybe wasn't the best one to swatch, but I just really like that shadow. Um, I liked the, the color of it, but I'm a little concerned about the mattes in this one though, especially because they are darker colors. Like you don't want them to be super hard to work with, especially I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not like, I just enjoy doing makeup and have, you know, have fun with it and everything. So uh, I'm definitely gonna have to try everything out on my eyes so far. I feel like the peach is much better than the smoky, but definitely will have to try them out on my eyes to get an idea for the formula. I haven't tried the Fenty eyeshadow formula formula yet, so this is my first time that I'm going to be trying it, but those are the two uh, mini palettes that I picked up from Fenty Beauty. I would love to know, have you guys grabbed any of these? What do you think about them? Which ones did you grab if you grabbed multiples? I would love to know, but hmm, curious about these. And then the final item that I picked up was a brush set. This is the Makeup Mario by Sephora brush set. I ended up purchasing the Complexion brush set, which was $69. So Makeup by Mario, celebrity makeup artist, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, very well known makeup artist uh, teamed up with Sephora for this brush collection they came out with three different sets they had the master set at 119 they had the complexion set at 69 and then the eye collection at 49 I love makeup brushes they're a weakness of mine I don't know what it is but I just have a weakness with makeup brushes okay uh, and so when you open it up comes in this really nice box, I will say that. So when you open it up, you get the complexion brush set. I was going back and forth. I originally thought I was gonna purchase the eye brush set. Again, it's the $20 cheaper. But no, when I looked closer at the brushes, I was like, you know what, there's at least two brushes in there that I really don't use that particular style of brush. So it wouldn't make sense to purchase a brush collection. Whereas with this complexion set, I will use every single brush. And there's also a couple brushes in here that I actually would use for eyes versus face. So that's why I decided to go ahead with with this set you do also get this pouch in here which honestly I don't know how much I would use this this looks like something like a makeup artist would use which makes sense since that is what makeup Mario is um, I I have not and I'm not really ever doing makeup on other people so I'm not sure I will use this myself but I don't know it's cute it's it's nice to have it's nice that it came with the brushes and all of that but I want to show you this and then I wanted to show you what it looked like when you opened up the box for the first time but I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off everything so we can actually see the brushes and I can feel them and see what I'm thinking Alrighty, so inside we have the six different brushes so the first one here is the powder brush the brushes are super soft, like the actual bristles are very, very soft and they feel heavy. Like they don't feel like super, like cheap quality or anything like that. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read the writing. It's kind of, it's not like etched. Yeah, maybe it is like etched in there, um, but very faintly. It just says Makeup by Mario uh, X Sephora. Uh, it doesn't say... Like it doesn't say like powder or anything like that on there or have a number or anything, but this is the powder brush, which I mean, I could use this as powder. I could use this as bronzer. Um, I could use this as like a blending brush for products on my face. So that is the first brush. We also have the foundation brush. So this one is a little bit smaller. This one I actually think I would use as a contour brush. I like really small contour brushes to really get like right up in there uh, in my cheekbones. So I a lot of times for foundation I use makeup sponges that's what I prefer when it comes to applying my foundation so again I think with a smaller brush like this I would prefer this for contour so next up we have the cheek brush I mean this one I feel like I could use for blush or for highlight I feel like I could use them for both usually for blush I like a little bit more of an angle but uh, or this one could be good for contour as well contour blush or highlight it's a little bit big as a highlight brush but if I'm like using something maybe a little bit a little bit more subtle and want something of like more all over glow I feel like I could use this one or again contour blush 
um, I, you definitely don't have to use brushes, makeup brushes, for what they say that they are. <laughs> I, I mix it up all of the time with my makeup brushes. Uh, so, and for example, like this one says it's the contour slant brush. This is what I really enjoy for blush brushes. So this is a little bit smaller than like the Sigma, um, what's their blush brush? The F40 or the F30 is, I, um, is Sigma's blush brush that I like. It's just a little bit bigger, but I really like angled, uh, brush for blush. I have no idea why, but that's just what I prefer. So that's what I would use it as. Again, definitely could use it as contour and all of that, but I'm probably going to use it for blush. Uh, and then we have the highlight brush. So definitely I could see myself using this as a highlight brush. It reminds me of the Prepping Perfector from the Doll 10 Makeup Molly set, which I really enjoy. I mentioned that in my Best of Beauty 2019 video. So definitely could use it as a highlight brush or that brush came in her, it's an eye set, an eye brush set that Molly did with Doll 10. So you could use this as um, to apply like a matte product all over your eyes after you've applied concealer or eye primer, things like that. So again, I think that there could be multiple uses for this brush. I mean, you could use this for uh, setting powder on the under eyes too. I think something small like this could work really well so another use that brush could come in handy for and then finally this one is the concealer brush this is actually what I will use as an eye brush this looks like a perfect flat shader brush for me uh, to apply shimmer um, metallic shades to the eyes and all of that I again I don't really use concealer brushes like this a ton Sephora actually has one brush that I really enjoy it's like the Sephora 55 the 55 brush I believe it is that one is more of like a small domed brush I love that one for concealer if I am going to use a brush but again a lot of times I just use my makeup sponge uh, so I see myself using this for eyeshadow for sure. So again, out of all of these six brushes, I would use all of them. They can have multiple different purposes as well. So for me, I feel like this was a good purchase. This was a good value. I don't wanna purchase brush sets unless I know that I'm going to use every single brush in there. And I'm really happy with this set. Uh, so far, I feel like the quality feels really nice on them. I like how soft they are, which is good, but definitely will need to use them on my face. I do always uh, come back and review my hauls if I'm trying makeup for the person time and all of that I'll come back after I've tried everything and uh, be able to review them and let you know what I think of them uh, I believe this collection is limited edition since it's a collaboration so I'm not sure how long it'll be around I do also have the brushes from the milk makeup Sephora collection that they did recently and these were limited edition and they were gone really quickly from the Sephora website so again I'm not sure how long this collection will be sticking around but I would love to know if you made a purchase from the makeup by mario and sephora brush collection other than that that is everything that i picked up from sephora recently i hope you enjoyed seeing my first haul of 2020 let me know your thoughts in the comments down below did you grab anything with all of the new releases that came around christmas or uh right after december 25th do let me know and what products do you want to see me use in upcoming get ready with me or tutorials what are you really anxious to see in use please do let me know i hope that you found this video helpful if you did make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope that you will consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.